In this video, we are going to go over how to upgrade workflows from Nintex for Office 365 to Nintex Workflow Cloud. Before we get started migrating our workflow from Office 365 to Nintex Workflow Cloud, make sure SharePoint integration has been set up in the Nintex Workflow Cloud tenant. Please see our other videos or the Nintex help files for more details. Let's get started. Begin by signing into your SharePoint online tenant and opening the workflow gallery containing the workflows that you want to migrate to Nintex Workflow Cloud. The upgrade to Nintex Workflow Cloud NWC status column shows if a workflow is ready to be migrated to Nintex Workflow Cloud. The column also shows the status of workflows that are in the progress of being migrated. The status of in progress is shown while a workflow is being created in Nintex Workflow Cloud. The status of draft created in NWC is shown once the workflow has been created in Nintex Workflow Cloud. The status of completed is shown when the Nintex Workflow Cloud workflow is published and the Office 365 workflow is deactivated. The status of duplicated published workflows is shown when the upgraded workflow has been published in Nintex Workflow Cloud, but the Office 365 workflow is also active. For workflows that are in the status of ready to upgrade or ready to review, you can click the ellipse and then upgrade. This will show the pre-upgrade details report. The report will show details of actions that are unsupported in Nintex Workflow Cloud and will be marked by a placeholder action in the migrated workflow. Clicking the Upgrade Workflow button will start the creation of the workflow in Nintex Workflow Cloud based on the current workflow. As previously advised, the Upgrade Status column will show as in progress during the creation process. The upgrade process can take a few minutes depending on the size of the workflow. Note that if you see a Restart Upgrade button instead of an Upgrade Workflow button, this means that the workflow has already been upgraded to Nintex Workflow Cloud. The Upgrade Details box can be closed while you wait for the upgrade to complete. Opening the Upgrade Details report for the workflow will open the dialog again, but you can also see the progress of the upgrade from the Upgrade to Nintex Workflow Cloud status column. If the Upgrade Details report dialog box is kept open a confirmation message will be displayed when the draft workflow is created in Nintex Workflow Cloud. Note that if the Nintex for Office 365 workflow's name has any special characters in it, they will be replaced with spaces in the Nintex Workflow Cloud workflow name as they are not allowed. If a Nintex for Office 365 workflow is updated after it has been upgraded to Nintex Workflow Cloud, you can upgrade the workflow again to have the latest version saved in Nintex Workflow Cloud. Another copy of the current version of the workflow is saved in Nintex Workflow Cloud. The earlier version of the workflow that was previously upgraded and saved in Nintex Workflow Cloud will not be replaced. If the workflow with the same name exists in Nintex Workflow Cloud, the site name and a number is appended to the name when saving the new workflow in Nintex Workflow Cloud. Let's now switch over to Nintex Workflow Cloud to review the draft workflow that has been created. To do this we click on the View in Nintex Workflow Cloud button from the Upgrade Details Report dialog box. The workflow is displayed in the Nintex Workflow Cloud Workflow Designer. If any connections are required for start events, they must be applied first before adding connections to the remaining actions. Next, we will configure a SharePoint Online Start Event, which will start this workflow on item creation in our SharePoint list. You will notice that the SharePoint site URL and list name auto-populate based on the list that the workflow was upgraded from on SharePoint Online. Now that the start event connections are configured, we need to check if any of the other actions we are using require a connection to be configured. We have an update item action that needs a connection, so let's configure that now. If there are unconfigured actions, you must complete the configuration before you can publish the workflow. In this instance, the condition needs to be reconfigured in this update items action. We can see that a placeholder has been added for the build dictionary action, as this action does not exist in Nintex Workflow Cloud. This action will need to be deleted and replaced with an equivalent action. In this case, we will replace it with an add item to collection action. 
If you are unsure of the configuration for the replacement action, you can refer back to your Nintex for Office 365 workflow. When you upgrade workflows from Nintex for Office 365 to Nintex Workflow Cloud, any task forms included in the Assign a Task and Start a Task Process task actions are upgraded as well. All form types are supported. After the task forms are upgraded, there may be some elements in the form that require updates to their configuration. You can view the Form Upgrade Details report for any required changes and then make the changes in the Form Designer and apply changes to the form. In this example, we are using a default new responsive task form. The task name, description and comments are not migrated across, so they will need to be re-added if required. Firstly, I will delete these unsupported controls. I will use text controls as my replacements. Once all changes are done, click Apply Changes from the toolbar. After the workflow is moved to Nintex Workflow Cloud, the configuration completed and the workflow tested, it's ready to be published, and the automated process switched to run from Nintex Workflow Cloud instead of Nintex for Office 365. Fill in the required fields and take the Deactivate the Workflow in Nintex for Office 365 checkbox. Then click Publish, and then the Confirm Publish Workflow button on the following dialog. Switching back to SharePoint Online, we can see that our workflow now has the upgrade status of completed, and now our upgrade is complete. If the workflow is not deactivated, instances can run for the workflow in Nintex for Office 365 as well. To avoid having the workflow started and running in both Nintex for Office 365 and Nintex Workflow Cloud, you must deactivate the workflow in Nintex for Office 365. Any in-progress instances for the workflow in Nintex for Office 365 will continue to run even after it is deactivated. You can deactivate the workflow at the time you publish it in Nintex Workflow Cloud or from Nintex for Office 365 after you publish it in Nintex Workflow Cloud. In this video, we demonstrated the upgrading of Nintex for Office 365 workflows to Nintex Workflow Cloud. Upgraded workflows take advantage of Nintex's own feature-rich workflow engine while still working seamlessly with SharePoint Online. For more information, please see the Nintex Workflow Cloud help files.